Hi, I'm Davin Oguera. I'm a real estate agent and investor in the LA area. And today we're in Long Beach. I want to show you guys what you can get under a million dollars in the city of Long Beach. It's one of my favorite cities in California. And it's got tons of properties with potential. Really good place to buy. So let's go check them out. Excited to show it to you. Welcome to this gorgeous California bungalow in Long Beach just a few blocks away from the beach in Bellin Heights. I love, love this house, even though it's missing a few characters from a 1930s house. It's still a great house. It's priced at 990,000, just under a thousand square feet. Great starter home, great house. It buys a second home to Airbnb as well. This will make about 350 a night. So just a little bit over 10,000 a month. Great income with 10% down. Your mortgage would be about 6,000. So if you bought this as a second home, you would do super well as an investment property too. So come on in. So the yard over here, it's not a really big yard, but there's stuff you can do with it. You can put a hot tub, um, dining table, some lounge furniture. I would make it more private. Yeah, so that's the only thing I say it's missing outside. Now let's go check out the inside. This house is a traditional California bungalow. It was built in 1935. I love the details all around. It's a shame that they did replace the hardwood flooring with this laminate that doesn't really fit this type of house, but they did leave some features of it like the fireplace. Framing of the hallways and the doors are from that time. This is the living room. It's a pretty large living room. And you walk into the kitchen, you have this classic French doors. I love the little details on it, actually. It's little hinges over here. It's pretty cool. So you can get some breeze since you're close to the beach. I just as well leave it open. I love these. So this is a great starter home. Uh, the kitchen's not that big, but for someone starting, it's, it's good enough. It'll do the job. It's got everything you need. And for Airbnb, you're not gonna ask for more than this. Nice laundry room over here, it's actually pretty big. If you wanted to, you could actually turn that little corner into like a breakfast nook area. It would kind of like fit this house a little bit more and then put the washer and dryer outside. But anyways, let's walk into the bedrooms. Guest bedroom, a little bit small, but for Airbnb and a start at home, it's fine. The closet space is not bad. I actually don't mind the closet doors. They look fine. Not the best, but they're good. Love this doorknob feature here on the, on the door. It's really cool. Master bedroom's pretty large. They did put some trees on the fence so you don't directly look into the street and people from the street don't directly look into you. You actually look into the plants, which is kind of cool. The bathroom. For a small house, it's actually not bad at all. You got a tub, toilet. You could put a shower in this corner right here if you want to get rid of this built-in. So good size bathroom for like a, an older home. Great house, I think we'll do super well on Airbnb. Now let's go through the next one so we can kind of compare and see which one will be best. Let's go to the next one. And now we're standing at the second home. It's really close to Los Altos, so it's a little bit further away from the beach in Long Beach, but it still can make really good money on Airbnb and it's still a good starter home. It's listed at a million dollars. It's about 1,400 square feet, so it's bigger than the other house, which, which would keep the Airbnb rates around the same, 350, because it's a little bit larger. It does need a little bit of cosmetic work inside, even though it's brand new because it looks a little plain right now, but let's go check it out. Come on in. This house is pretty modern and open. Kitchen's a little small, but that's okay. The living area and the dining area are pretty large and big and like open and connected together. So because the space in the living, dining area, entertainment area is so big and it's connected to the outside, it will make good money on Airbnb because it will host a lot of people. So if you photograph this well, you will drag a lot of people in. And as a starter home, it's a perfect home to stay here for many years to come. I think it's large enough to have a family here and the yard is also good enough to have, I mean, big enough to have a swimming pool, hot tub, you name it, if you decide to make it bigger. But let's go check it out. We got the living room right here. It's a pretty large living room. I would love if they had 
big wide French doors over here that will open into the yard. Just like those lighting doors like by the kitchen. Dining area is pretty big as well. Flooring, it's not my choice, but I do like the color. Looks a little bit like white oak, so it works. Got one car garage right there. This is the first time I've ever seen something like this. I've never seen a kitchen island outside the kitchen, but I guess you could turn this into a bar and kind of make it cool, you could make it work. This is the first guest bathroom right here. It's pretty good size, I'd say. Works pretty well for a starter home. Uh, guest bedroom, you can easily fit a queen bed. I do like the colors, do not like the lamp, but the doors and the black handles and white walls, it works, it looks pretty clean. Got a pretty small bedroom over here. I would turn this into a office and a sofa bed. It will work for both if you're living here or Airbnb since a lot of people work from home. And now here we have the master bedroom. Nice and bright in here. A little small bathroom in here, it works. Closet space could be a little bit bigger. So I would say that's one of the changes I would make to this house, but it works for now, you know, you could just like move in. The back, it's a pretty nice yard. If you wanted to splurge, I would only do this if I was living here. I don't think it would be worth it for Airbnb, uh, at least not this house. You could put a pool over here. I feel like it would totally fit this house. It looks like a, it has a mid-century modern vibe with this lighting doors into the kitchen and living room. And a pool over here would just be perfect. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Long Beach is a great city to invest. I've lived here for four years. Know all the ins and outs of this city. I still think it's undervalued for a beach town in Southern California. So buy it before it's too late. Don't wait too long. And I'll see you guys in the next video. We're gonna to be touring homes in the Orange County. Take care.